So I'm making uh, my version of succotash. Do you guys all know what succotash is? Yes. yes. It's corn, it's beans, it's sometimes tomatoes. I don't put tomatoes no, in No, I don't either. So what do you need me to do, I chef? I need you to uh, um, dice the red peppers okay. really fine, please. Oh, and, good and luck. And give me some chives. All right. So can you use, is that frozen? Can you use fresh too? Is it, what? This is fresh. This is actually about uh, five years of corn. Okay. Um, freshly shucked. Here's the cool thing. So I want some corn in there, but I also want to puree some corn. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like let this go for a few minutes, a little salt, uh, just till the corn is uh, it's tender. And then I'm just going to take about a cup of it and put it in here and then sort of add all my ingredients to it. You know, the word succotash comes from a Native American word for broken corn kernels. I love that. So it's there you like go. about it's as some American corn. as you so can get, right? It, it, what's, what I love about succotash, right, so it's great because it really becomes your dish. Yeah. You can kind of put your own influences and your own thoughts into it, and it really becomes your own, so. Flavor's flavor, you know? Flavor's flavor. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of this corn. It's nice and tender. And I'm going to take... About a cup of it. I'm gonna put it in this blender. Now, I've got buttermilk. Mmm, tangy. Tangy. That works with corn. I love it that. It loves the sweet. buttermilk and the sweet and sour. And then I have regular milk, one clove of garlic, and then a touch of butter. Super in the south still here. Yeah, we're Super in, in the, the south. We're in the still. south. Heaven. And then this is my little. Um, secret ingredient. This is called tenjang, which is a Korean miso. So if you guys are familiar with Japanese miso, yeah. yep. it's very similar, but it tends to be a little funkier, a little saltier, a little bit more umami driven. Um, texturally, it's a little chunkier. Um, and it's just like slightly rougher version of Japanese. Yes, so, yeah. right. A little more macho, yeah, a little more, a little like more rough oh, around the edge. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. the older brother who, yeah. like, you know, like went to you know, jail. Yeah, he benches, yeah, bench you know. presses in the garage. And, he like, drives a train. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Where can you find the, the that Korean miso paste? Uh, if you can go to any Oriental market, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Korean markets, they have them everywhere. You can pretty much get anything online. Yeah, True. yeah, so. yeah. And the great thing is that it's shelf stable and it holds forever. So it's not like it's going to go bad. Mm, those are sweet. All right. So I'm going to puree this for a while and make it really creamy. I'm going to throw all my beans into here. So I've got lima. All right. Beans. Oh, man. I've got a little edamame. Okay. It has a really beautiful texture to it. These are all frozen, or did you are these fresh? They're more firm. Right? These are fresh. The edamame comes frozen, and yeah. you can you know Great just de shell them. Yep. And then black eyed peas. Wow. All right. Back to the south. Back to the south. You go a little south, a little Korea. We're all over the place here today. Do you want the peppers in the pan? Yes, please. Thank you. I totally forgot about that. And that's like what? Awesome. Corn and. It's just corn, Tenjang. buttermilk. And dongjang. Was it? A little bit Tenjang. of uh, Tenjang? Tenjang, yeah. Tenjang. Denjang. It's like nature's oh. root. It's funky. Yeah. So it's super so, funky. So that whole, you know, corn chowder ish kind of thing that I just made goes back in here. And so now you have this succotash, but it's very creamy. Chef, so, uh, you have a daughter, right? How are you, uh, you know, implementing your love of food to your daughter? Um, I make her cook with me. At make least her cook. I make her cook oh, with me. Oh, look at her with the ice cream Where is she? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, look She's at all kids. Are, I've never seen a kid with an ice cream cone not smiling, right? Is it? But she has, um, she just started to pick it up. Like, I cook, she watches me, she comes in the kitchen, just hangs out with me. and, and It's the and best way. Yep. It, Natural. So the cool thing about this. Can you just this, finish it with your fresh herbs? Yeah. OK. And to me, like, I love using a bunch of different kinds of herbs. So I've got tarragon, chives, and parsley. And they all kind of bring a different sort of flavor element to it. Um, there's some in the pan, and that sort of cooks in it with the corn. And then I also just like to top it to just give it that fresh. Tarragon, a lot of people don't use it. I, I love, love tarragon. Tarragon, right? And just a little bit, not too much, but you know, that, that the tarragon brings that anise, you know, the parsley is just kind of really green and the chives give you that little oniony, I find little it so kick at the finish. I don't do licorice, but I love yes. star anise. I mm. love tarragon. Mm. Well, because it's real Fennel, licorice. yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's eat. All right. All right. I get it? All right. So, Jeff. Who am I feeding first? Does it matter? That's me. Okay. I'll take a bowl too. Right. Look at that. Look at the colors in there, first off. I mean, beautiful rainbow, cornucopia of color. If you're like a vegetarian and you want to just have a nice homely meal, like this is a, by itself, it could be a whole meal by itself. Oh, man. Yeah. A little bread. Yeah? 
It's yeah, awesome. It is popping, but it literally pops in your mouth from the freshness of mm. those corn kernels. Awesome. And the beans are kind of, you know, you got that starchy chew to them. And the, I'm like, I know my palate's tasting something umami and mm. rich and yeah, funky it's not and like fermented. In there. But it's not like pow, yeah, it's yeah. just makes it so much better. And I love the tarragon use too. It's like very mysterious Thank and you. inviting Thank at the same you. time. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> All right.